In front of me is the Axon 11 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. So to get started, uh, number one, you, we will need a connection to Wi-Fi and I am already connected. And from there, let's back out. Obviously you can see that device is locked right here. So let's back out the first page. And from here, we're gonna change the language to any kind of other language that uses a different keyboard. That can be Greek, Russian, um, uh, what else is there? Chinese, apparently any kind of language that uses just a different keyboard. That is because once you change it, it will give us an option to switch between keyboards. So I'm gonna go with something like Greek right here. And again, we're gonna skip through most of this back to the, um, back to the Google verification page. Tap on the login field right here, and as you can see, there is the globe icon. You want to hold it, and let's start off by actually changing it to QWERTY, then hold it again, and go to keyboard settings right here, then add a keyboard, and choose any option without the arrow on the side. So there is one, and tap on add, which is this blue button right here, and again, let's add more, again, one without the arrow. So let's choose the first one and tap on add and that should be good enough so let's back out again to the first page and from here let's change it back to english and again get back to the google verification page and then once more hold the globe icon go to language settings add a keyboard and this time around choose a one that actually has an arrow, which there we go, so there is Albanian, let's go for that, tap on the three dots from here and go to help and feedback, and then describe your issue, uh, type in Morse, or just typing MO seems to bring it up as a suggested, so use Morse code, from here tap on the play, wait for it, and there we go, once it loads you can see that there is the three dots, so you want to tap on that, choose watch later, go for the Chrome, Accept and continue. It will crash in a moment. So no thanks, and there we go, there we go. Crashes and it brings this up again. So again, choose Chrome, no thanks. And from here, you wanna tap on the field and navigate into hard reset.info website. Once you're on it, tap on the three bars right here and go to the downloads category. Tap on the download field for the search one and type in Android 7.1.2. There we go. Search. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, it finds the FRP bypass Android 7.1.2 and also 10. Tap on the download. There is only one link. Scroll down and where you, when you see the download link right here, you want to hold this. It will bring up this pop-up and choose open in incognito tab. Confirm it by tapping on OK and let it download. Now we do it through incognito mode because there's sometimes a problem with it not downloading. Uh, it reaches 100% download and never finishes. Uh, this prevents it from actually happening. Now once it's done downloading, tap on open, go to settings, check this on to allow from the source, go back, install, and let it simply install. From here, let's choose open and continue and disregard this crashing, it's okay. Tap on okay and then back out. Out once more and then search for settings there we go 
uh, disregard the capital, it's just a misclick, it doesn't really change anything. As you can see, there we go, Android Settings APK. So again, download, scroll down, and same thing, hold it, open in incognito, okay. And once it's done downloading, open it up and install. And from here, open, tap on OK. And from the settings, you want to go to the apps at the beginning, then choose see all 42 apps, tap on the three dots and choose show system. And scroll down to a G letter, so we're looking for Google Play services. Google, there we go, Google Play services. Disable and confirm it. Agree. Go back and choose Google Play Store. Again, disable. OK. And go back. So you can see now both of them are disabled right here. So you can go back, back once more. Back to the main settings page as you can see. Now I'll add, if you went back a little bit too far, it will bring you back to the uh, browser. So to get back to the settings, you will have to re-download and reinstall the settings app to get back into it. Once it's done installing, it will again give you the option to open it up to get back. And from there, once so we're in a, this page right here, this time you want to go to accounts, tap on add account, choose Google, give it a moment. And then in here, log in with your existing Google account. If you don't have one, you can create one. It doesn't need to be like an old account. You can create it simply for this purpose. It doesn't really matter. We just need some kind of account so it overrides the old one that was blocking us. So I have my own. That's what I'm going to use. Let's go next. And I'm going to put in a password for it. So I'm going to do that off the screen. And then choose next. Once it's done logging in, you can see that it gives us welcome. Um, obviously, welcoming to the uh, terms of service because that's exactly how I like to feel welcomed. So let's tap on I agree. As you can see, it's added. So now let's back out and go back to the apps, and we will need to re-enable the Google Play Store and Play Services. So again, apps, CL42, tap on the three dots, show system, and scroll down to G. And there we go. Play Store, enable, go back. Play Services, enable, go back. Disregard this popping up. And what this app does is allow us to log in to Google. Uh, without this app, we would not be able to login and the option wouldn't be even visible so at the moment it did, what it did what it needed to do and it can keep crashing it doesn't really matter anymore so once you enable the play store and play services hold the power key and select restart so as you can see after the restart we're back in the setup page so let's just set up the device now at this moment the device is still not fully unlocked, so keep that in mind, even though it will show us a message that account was added right here. Account added and provides me uh, with the account that I have inserted, uh, for you it will be most likely a different one. And from here we can just tap on next. Now at this point you just want to simply skip through most of it, you don't want to really set up anything. Uh, because, that, like I said, the device is still not unlocked fully. And as you can see, the app keeps crashing uh, more. It doesn't really matter. Click on the screen. And from here, choose your search engine. Again, it doesn't really matter. So agree, skip. Let's go to next, 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 next. Again, disregard. Next. Agree. Oh, nope. Let's go back. Next. No thanks. Get started. Got it. And as you can see, we are now on the 
home screen. So from here you want to go to the settings, scroll all the way down to system, choose reset options, erase all data, factory reset. Uh, and as you can see, one of the things that it provides us is the account that was um, that we have added, but it also uh, will remove the account that well, was previously blocking us, like I said, uh, which isn't actually specified right here. So let's tap on erase all data, erase everything, and simply wait for the process to finish. Now this will take about five minutes, and once it's finished, we will be then back in the setup screen with the difference at that point the device will be fully unlocked and you can then add whatever you want uh, your google accounts uh, protection to the device whatever you want it will all work so i'll be back once we can see the setup page so as you can see now the process is finished and we can go through the setup process once more so I'm again going to skip through most of it, but the key thing that you can already see is the fact that a Wi-Fi connection is skippable. If the device would be still locked, it would not be. So I'm going to skip through most of this. Let's agree to this. Skip. Next, 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 next. Get started and we're done. So as you've seen, there was no need to verify anything. I could skip Wi-Fi and you could set it up as however you like from here. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.